Hello, my beautiful earth signs. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Freaky Freaky K. Um, we're going to get right on into your reading. So this is going to be 2020, well, September 2024 um, prediction. So we're going to get right on into the tea. Please make these messages as clear as possible in verse fair spare, guys. How will the month of September 2024 be for my earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? Because y'all got to know. I need to go to bed. One, two, three. All right. Make these messages as clear as possible in your spirit, spirit guides. How will the month of September, how will the month of September 2024 be for my earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? Okay. So we have service, um, which makes sense. Um, we also have fear. So my thing is, one thing about earth signs, in my opinion, I feel like you guys are people pleasers, you know? And I feel like you guys normally have like really good hearts. And I say normally because it's not everybody. I can't keep, I can't say keep, but I can't put y'all all in the same bubble. You get what I mean? So I get a sense that you guys will be uh, being a little bit cautious of who you are nice to, who you are generous, generous to. You get what I mean? Fear says, I realized that... Um, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So the thing is, right? You are, most of y'all are natural born people pleasers. Like you are naturally kind individuals. But I feel like, you know, because you guys are earth signs and because you guys are so down to earth and because you guys are, you know, one with the universe, you know, compared to other zodiac signs, you have a better understanding of things of that nature. I just get a sense that the month of September 2024, I feel like you're still going to be doing kind gestures or being nice to people, people pleasing, or however you want to call it. Or like I said, being generous. Did I say generous? I didn't say that. I don't think I did. But being generous to others, I feel like you still, you, you're you going to try, you're going to try to be cautious, a bit more cautious. You get what I mean? I don't feel like you live in, in fear or anything like that, but you know, sometimes you be a, you. Sometimes you are a little bit uncertain on who you should be kind to, but and I also want to say you have to, you need to try to be a little bit more cautious of who you are kind to. Some of y'all are just like you just kind because you want to be kind, but everybody does not deserve your kindness. You get what I mean? And I know a lot of y'all are probably just saying like, you know, I just this is just how I'm feeling. That's 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 great, but then how are you gonna feel when a person is like, okay. I know Earth sign is just like, they willing to just give me money. I know Earth sign is just willing to let me, you know, do this and the third. That's not fair to you. You know, you know make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. How will the month of September 2024 be for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? How will the month of September 2024 be for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? I didn't know we have one. We have the Seven of Cups here. How will the month of September 2024 be for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? Temperance. How the month of September 2024 be for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? How the month of September 2024 be for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? How the month of September 2024 be for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? Overall energy. We do have the four principles being here. Confirmation for me because um I'm gonna tell y'all why in a second. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the judgment, we also have the three of cups being here. So Earth signs, I just get a sense, right? Um, before I start anything, because like I said, the four principles as the overall energy just lets me know that you are gonna be protecting yourself, protecting your energy. I feel like you're gonna be taking like um reserving your is it reserving or preserving? You get what I'm saying your time, energy, efforts, you know, maybe your funds and things like that. You could be really good at saving at this current point in time because we have the Knight of Pentacles and we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So I want to say, like I said, you being generous, I feel like you're going to be slowing down on that because you should. Everybody does not deserve your kindness. I'm not going to front. Everybody does not deserve your kindness. Some people, it's like, I just feel like when it comes to that, you, you know, I'm not going to say test anybody because I don't think that's a cool thing to do either. But if you was ever in a rut, and I, I don't know, earth signs don't really get into many situations like that. But if you was ever in a rut and you, the same people that you are willing to give money to, are they willing to give money back to you? What is blinking? Are they willing to give money back to you? Like, that's really the question. We also have with the um, first card coming out as the seven of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, I'm sorry, the seven of cups, the seven of cups and the temperance being here. I get a sense that um, seven, seven, uh, 
okay um i read my cards a little bit weird if you've been here you know but i read my cards very accurately some of the cups is about um false illusions i feel like some of you guys are going to be calming down slowing down and also pouring into yourself i feel like with the nine of cups because i want you to understand where i'm getting that from because we have the seven cups here and then the two cups in this person's hand which is equivalent to the nine of cups for me i feel like you're gonna be having emotional um balance or emotional support okay because i feel like you're gonna be pouring into yourself for pentacles confirmation you get what i mean um i feel like there are things that you know are supposed to be on its way because we have the three of we have the three of what the fuck is this the three of wands we have the strength card being here i feel like um you have a confidence to wait for something long for something that's another thing too you may be interested in a particular person and i feel like it's not a person or maybe a thing you may be interested in a particular thing but you are trying to tame the beast you're not trying to rush the situation i feel like right now you are keeping your eye on a particular thing maybe you are looking for a promotion maybe you are looking for a particular person you know you're keeping your eye out you're keeping your options open I'm getting here as well and as you are keeping your options open i feel like you are also working on yourself okay grounding yourself um again because we have the temperance three of wands practice and patience and i feel like the queen of pentacles is another um indicator of you being like still grounded relaxing focusing on your finances and your mental okay how will the month of september 2024 be for my earth signs capricorn taurus and virgo we have compassion. I was just talking about that. You being an earth sign and you being closer and being one with the universe, I feel like what you give out is what's going to be reciprocated back to you. Okay. How will the month of September 2024 be for my earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? Blessings. Give me another card, please. Thank you. We also have passion. Following your passions at the bottom of the deck, we also have good luck. Good luck for me is blessings and then you have that. I feel like a lot of good things is going to be happening to you because of how compassionate we have compassion. We have passion. So I, I want to say, I wonder if you guys do anything on the internet. <laughs> Some of you could do something on the internet. If it's like not the internet, maybe you are, you have your own business or you want to start your own business on the internet. Take what resonates from that. And that's going to be, um, like uh, clothes, like having your own clothing brand or starting a clothing brand or something like, I feel like some of you guys are going to be getting, having that flame ignited within you, or you could be looking into it. So it's a lot of different things. I'm just going based off of like from the people that I know that are earth signs, a lot of earth signs that I know right now, one wants to be a fashion designer. Another one is doing podcasting. Another one is um, wanting to just, I, I don't know, he does music. He wants to blow up on the internet. Mind you, all three of them have a regular nine to five. They have careers. Okay. So that's what I have for that. We are going to move on to the love portion of this video, um, this reading. So this is going to be what's next in love, like a general what's next, next in love. That's basically like if you are in a committed relationship or if you talk to somebody seriously, and then I'm going to do singles for those that are not talking to anybody at all. So take whatever resonates to you. What's next in love for my Capricorn Taurus and Virgos in the month of September of 2024? I was talking about the Nine of Cups, and that's the first card that came out. Ain't that crazy? What's next in love for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos in the month of September of 2024? What's in love for my Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo in the month of September of 2024? Me another one. Some of y'all are mostly single, okay? And some of y'all are going to be exploring your options, having a good time over in you for this reading. I'm still going to do a singles run. Singles reading. We have the Nine of Wands being here. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. We have the King of Pentacles. And we also have the Justice card being here. A lot of y'all are hiding the fact that you are... Um, I'm not saying... You're not hiding it. But I just get a sense that um, with the High Priestess and the King of Pentacles, and we also have the Justice card being here, you're trying to be fair and you're trying to be a little bit cautious of who you allow next to you this is what i'm saying because you know that you are a person that's very generous you are a person that is very stable and you need somebody that's just you know that's not true 
I feel like earth signs doesn't really ma- mind if a person's not as stable as them, as long as they have an idea and they have a plan. So I get a sense that, right? We have the nine of cups, the nine of wands, and we also have the magician card being here. If you are talking to a person or if you are in a either committed relationship or something like that, somebody checks off all the um bo- marks. Somebody checks off all the boxes or whatever the fuck you say that shit. And this person is working really hard. Uh, all right. I feel like you could be connected with an entrepreneur. We have the hermit and we also have the, the hang one being here. But this person may be neglecting you because this person is very self-sufficient or this person is an entrepreneur. It could be the other way around that you, this is something that you could be doing to what resonates. But I feel like what's next in love is that you are going to have that emotional fulfillment that you're looking for. But with the Knight of Wands being here, this person is very career driven. Okay, this person could also be because the Knight of Wands. I normally get. I'm not really getting negative energy with this Knight of Wands. I get the fact that this person that you could be connecting with or you are talking to, like I said, they have a dream and they're going towards their dreams. So they really don't have time to be really sitting here focusing or like um, giving you 110 percent of your of their of their attention. Yes, speak English. Um, with the Knight of Wands being here, I I do get a sense that you do have people that come towards you, but you may not like the, like those options or those people. I don't, I don't feel like that. If like I said, if you are dealing with anybody at this current point in time, I don't see you budget. I don't see you moving. I feel like um we have the Hermit and the the Hermit and the what is this the Hang One being here. So it may be it, it may be uh like it may be changing your perspective your or, or your mind or your i like your idea of what a relationship should be. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. From the earth signs that I like, I can't I can't compare all of y'all and put y'all all in the same bubble. A lot of y'all like space, but also a lot of y'all do like to be around your partner, which makes sense because you are a feminine zodiac sign. You know what I mean? Male or female really doesn't matter. If you like somebody, you're gonna want to be around that person. Okay, some of y'all can feel a little bit neglected from your individual because your person is working really hard towards their dreams, aspiration, their goals, stuff like that. But I feel like that's what makes you stay and stick around with this person because you may feel inspired by them because of how hard they are going for their goals. You get what I mean? Let's get some more cards. Make these messages as clear as possible in the spirit of spirit, guys. What's next in love for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos in the month of September of 2024? Ooh, we have separation. What's happening next in love for my Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos when it comes to love in the month of September of 2024? We have stay optimistic about your love life. Give me another one. And then we also have release your ex. Some of y'all could be stuck on your ex. I keep picking that up. Um, I was ki- picking that up mostly for Capricorns. When I be doing my individual readings, I always kind of pick up on Capricorns being stuck on an ex, or you know, you haven't let go, like you haven't healed completely from an ex. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have um, let your friends help you. Okay. So if you are trying to date, or if you're trying to get out in a dating scene, because I do feel like some of y'all want to have a good time. I do feel like that. But um, you may still have your mind and your heart on somebody, on something. You may not have moved. You may not have budged. And I feel like we'll stay optimistic about your love life. You need to stay optimistic about your love life, meaning that you need to date. You need to explore your options, things of that nature. Maybe you do need to release your ex. You need to release somebody. Because this is the thing, too. Like, you may date people that remind you of your ex. And that's not healthy. You know what I mean? Because that's not your ex. They're not going to, they're not going to, listen, that's what I have. We're going to move on to the singles part. Let's see. Okay. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What's next in love for my single earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. Please make these, please make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What's next in love for my single Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos in the month of September of 2024? What's next in love for them? For my single earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Ace of Pentacles. What's next in love for my single Earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We have the Nine of Wands. What's happening next in love for my single Earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. In the month of September 2024. Over energy, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. We have the tip. Nope, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Tower card, and we also have the Empress. 
I feel like I, I really do feel like some of y'all are stuck on the ex. I really do feel like that. But um, Earth Sounds was next and left for you guys, my single babies. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups being here. I do feel like you're going to get a love offer, but you may decline it because you don't want to be put in a third-party situation. Or you may feel like this person is, um, you may look at this person as a friend. You may not see them as anything more than just a friend. It may be, it may be a lot of reasons why you are not really indulging in that um, particular situation. Like I said, you don't want to... Um, some of y'all with the nine of wands and the three of cups, the three of cups could also be about, um, rejoicing, like re reconciliation, rekindling something. You may not want to do that. Like, um, you may have a friend that you may have slept with and this person wants to either sleep with you again, or they, they want to give you a very solid offer and you may not be into that. Some of y'all are happily single. I can't even lie. Some of y'all could be happily single. You're more focused on your finances and stuff like that. And with the queen of pentacles being here and the queen of pentacles coming out, and I think in the first spread, it lets me know some of y'all are okay with just being generous. You know what I'm saying? Like you are being smart with it, but I feel like you are okay with being generous, handing out or giving out, um, money or you know even ideas and stuff like that trying to support as much as you can support because we have the ten of wands the queen of swords and we also have the um, world card being here i feel like it's a hassle for you guys right now to like even connect with people or maybe even like i feel like you are in a space of detachment you know i feel like you are in your own world it's like if you fit in you fit in and you can get in if you don't then you be just not going to do it i don't feel like you're really forcing the situation what's next in love for my single earth signs capricorn taurus and virgos We have proposal. What's happening next in love? I told you. We have a pro pro blah, blah. we have the we have proposal and we also have the ace of pentacles. Somebody's gonna be trying to offer you something, but I really feel like you might decline it. That's gonna be for who it needs to be for. What's next in love for my single Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos in the month of September of 2024? We have shyness, encouraging, um, taking it slow. What's next? Give me another card, please. And we also have Cupid. It says, love struck with Cupid's arrow. And at the bottom of the deck, we have heartbreak, release pain, healing your heart. I'm trying to tell y'all. Some of y'all are still stuck on the X. I'm trying to make sure that my mic is still on. Some of y'all could be stuck on the X. Some of y'all have not healed 100% from this particular person. And it's like, um, yes, you like somebody. I really do feel like you might like an individual. And I feel like um, you may be around them and stuff like that. You may be their friend. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles being here, they offer you a romantic relationship. Or even if you are feeling like, okay, I want to offer this person a romantic relationship, it's not even, we don't have the Ace of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles. You get what I'm saying? Like, what you're offering them is something tangible, something that could be, like, support. Something that could be, like, um, a kind gesture. You get what I'm saying? Like, a, a peace of mind. Like, I, I don't see you at this current point in time, not right now um giving anybody anything emotional at this current point in time like i feel like everything right now is from a logical strategical type of standpoint but that's what i have for the love portion we're going to move on to um money money career and finances i'm only pulling three cards so please take what resonates and leave the rest make these messages as clear as possible in the spirit spirit guys when it comes to my earth signs capricorn Taurus, and virgo how will money career and finances be for them in the month of september of 2024 Please give me three cards. Thank you so much. All right. Give me another one. I keep hearing company cards. Some of you guys could be having a company card. doesn't have to be that, but it could be. Give me another card, please. And we also have, yep, money is going to be looking good for y'all. All right. Um, we have the Three of Cups again, bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and we also have the Devil card. Some of y'all can be working as hard as you're working because that helps you keep your mind off of um a particular situation or how things may have played out with the person take what resonates from you but we do have the chariot the page of wands and we also have the ace of pentacles some of you guys could be starting a new job like i said maybe a job that gives you a company car or you're going to be making enough money to have a car so you can drive to work and stuff like that some of you are going to be paved in a, a new way so some of y'all with the page of wands being here maybe starting a business hobby um just like um even if you are at a regular nine to five job you could be having a different type of position a higher position a higher paying position take what resonates with the three of cups being here i do feel like you're going to be getting recognition and celebrated some of y'all going to be an employee of the month it doesn't have to be that or you're going to be getting a bonus because of your hard work that you are doing all right how will the month of september 2024 how will finances and career be for my earth signs in the month of september of 2024 three cards please give me two more Give me one more. 
thank you so much okay so we have contracts and we also have obligations so you have new obligations you get what i mean some of y'all may have a different like i said a different job title or something like that so we do have i don't know what the fuck this shit says um Honestly and truly just been, I love my blue light, but I can't see it. Okay. So we have credit card and we have debt. We also have working late deadlines and we also have plans and proposals. So yeah, I feel like you could be in a space right now where you are, um, you could be working late or working longer hours, take what resonates to you. Or now you have like some type of quota that you have to reach. Uh, um, I'm also getting more plans and proposals. Some of y'all are maybe even fixing a resume because you want to give to this new job or you want to have this new opportunity, take what resonates to you. But that's what I have for Capricorns. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, let me know in the comment section. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. Peace.